So welcome back to another video and today we show you Mac OS Mojave uh, 10.14 beta 4 on the 2016 touch in MacBook so I missed 3 beta now because I am busy for a very long time so I will cover everything from beta 1 to beta 4 uh, for the Mac OS Mojave on the touch in MacBook so let's get started so the first thing when you upgrade to Mojave uh, you have two options for appearance is light and dark uh, now it will change the interface into the full dark mode or full light mode so it's on watchOS, uh, tvOS and now macOS I hope is iOS soon also you can now change the accent color so when you change the accent color it will change everything from the normal blue color to the any color you choose here so light pink and you can see the highlight colors pink here and even when you select something it's also in pink and when you select a menu it's also in pink as well so the next thing is when you upgrade to Mojave you have to dynamic desktop so we have the Mojave dynamic wallpaper it will change from day to night uh, depend on your location but also on beta 4 we have a new wallpaper called solar gradients so what that is is just gradient that's it and it also change from light to dark as well uh, just like the mojave dynamic wallpaper but the mojave, mojave one is more beautiful uh, right now it's almost evening so with the wallpaper change uh, at the right time so the next thing is is the new stack in the desktop so you can see here I have a bunch of screenshot uh, messing the desktop so when we go to view and you stack it will stack into a group and uh, this one is called screenshot and when you click it it will show you all the screenshot here but also work with other files as well so let me copy some mp3 yeah and you can see it will stack into a group called music here so stack will help clean up your desktop so the next thing is we have a new screenshot in mac os mojave so let me show you so command shift 3 and it will check a screenshot and it will show the thumbnail down here just like on ios and when you click it you can edit the screenshot here you can draw anything here um, you can click done to save it or click the trash icon to delete it and also when you comment zip file we now have a new interface for the uh, screenshot grabber so we have more options like the you can capture entire screen uh, capture selected window uh, selected portion and you can now record the screen using this shortcut and record the select portion as well and we have an option here you can choose where to save it and you can set a timer for screenshot and recording and a lot more option here now you can now uh, screenshot with a mouse pointer and that's it that's a new screenshot also in the beta 4 in others folder we now have a new screenshot app here so previously there was an app called grab tune I think but now it's removed and replaced with screenshot here and when you click it just like the shortcut command shift file for the uh, screenshot tool also the next thing is when you quick look on the image file uh, you can now instantly rotate it from here also you can mark up uh, in here as well so be prepared that uh, it will lag your device a lot especially when you try to rotate this image it will immediately save it so uh, be careful before using it you can also rotate the video in the quick look as well and you can trim the video right in the quick look uh, so it will get your things done very quickly if you want to edit uh, a little bit from the video file okay the next thing is for Vietnamese user when you use the telex keyboard uh, from the Mac OS itself you can now uh, type Vietnamese in caps lock 
in Microsoft Word normally, so I will try something. As you can see, I can now type in uppercase uh, in Telex keyboard normally on, on high Sierra. When you type like this, it will stop in here, and when you click something else, uh, this send this word will disappear so this bug has been fixed on Mojave okay the next thing is we have a new app store on Mac OS so finally after a long years of the good old app store we now have a new app store just like on iOS 11 so we have a new discover here and top page of it now the UI is more uh, modern now we have a create tab here work and play okay so th there is games on the uh, macbook uh, the mac os so let me see 7.3 gigabyte uh how about the compatibility where it does say anything okay never mind and we can also update here so well just like the same app store but uh newer so the next thing is you can now use your iPhone to capture photo and then send it to your Mac. So this feature did require your iPhone running iOS 12 and mine is not running iOS 12 so I cannot demo this. But when you right click it and you, there will be an option for uh, check the photo from your iPhone and when you click it your iPhone will open the camera app when you capture it and click done and we will send back to here so this will be useful for some people also we have a new software update in system preference so you will no longer need to update your system uh, using app store now we have a separate software update section in your max preference okay so that is for the features now let me show you some bugs i am very annoyed about so the first thing is when you edit something in another desktop, I have to virtual desktop here. Uh, let me try something here. And when you change the apps that on the other desktop, like I open Safari on the desktop one. So let me click the icon here. And we'll move back here and you can see that uh, the window is deselected. So which means it's not in active mode. So what? does it mean that you cannot type anything here you can see that but we have to manually change to the desktop 2 and go back to desktop 1 and we will work normally so this bug is very annoying just like when in high sierra so i hope apple will fix it soon i hope so apple please fix the bug so that's all for the mac os mojave on the trudge in macbook so the performance is very good yes very good about some people uh, worry about overheating but uh, mine doesn't affect it um, but uh, the uh, traveling macbook will run mojave very well so that's the today video and thanks for watching